Uh, probably the first thing that I always take care of when it comes to squat technique, and one of the most common mistakes I see, is just like a lack of uh, focus and intent on foot pressure. So a lot of people have cued or are cued to push through the heels when they learn how to squat or do any sort of leg movement like on a leg press or whatever. But I prefer, prefer to cue whole foot pressure. So the way that I will, so two main things I'll talk about with foot pressure. First of all, thinking of your foot as a tripod. So I'll take the shoes off just so it's easy to see. So what I mean by that is you've got three points of contact Big toe, little toe, heel. So all the pressure runs from here around to the outside and I'm raising the arches of my feet. Sort of like I'm like a bird perched on a branch, right? Mm -hmm. You'll see with my knees, when I do that, it points them out. So it's giving us a really good base for us to push our knees out from. The other uh, thing I think about in, or in, cue in terms of foot pressure is whole foot pressure. As I mentioned before so the way that I'll uh, find my whole foot pressure or gain whole foot pressure is start way back on the heels usually a lot more familiar for most people and then I'll sort of come forward and find the big toe so I cue the big toe more often because people are more likely to be on the heel but what I'm looking for is equal pressure between toe and heel right so what that might look like I'll unrack the weight Maybe do you want to come over to the side? Yeah, side? sure. So if I'm trying to find that foot pressure, that whole foot pressure, I'll start on the heels here. I might come back and forward until I'm happy. Until I feel like I've got really solid, good contact with the big toe but my heels are still in contact as well. So it's usually just a little bit more forward than most people are used to, mm. right? The second most common uh, mistake I'll see is a lame unrack. So <clears throat> most people sort of think that the lift starts once it's unracked and they're ready to go. The lift should start as soon as you touch the bar. That's when the intention start. So, when we're squatting, just briefly, we're arching the feet, knees pointing out, really opening up the hips, pushing the knees out, right? We still want to have that lateral tension when we're unracking the bar as well, so it's probably easier to see from this side now. Yeah. So you'll often see people unrack, They'll pick it up and their knees will sort of be together like this or they'll stand like this, stand up, come back. Yeah. There's just not much thought into it. When I unrack, I'm spending a lot of time getting my grip, making sure it's consistent, it's the same every time. Really pulling myself under, making sure I'm creating a really tight shelf with my upper back and that it's sitting in the same spot every time. I'll unrack with feet hip with the bar, arching the feet just like I was talking about before. Knees out, standing up. I'll take one small step back and two steps to square myself. Yeah. Right. So there's plenty of ways to unrack the bar, but that's probably just the way that I find easiest to teach. And as long as you're doing it with intent and doing the same thing every time, that's, that's the main point. Uh, the third most common mistake is an excessive flaring of the rib cage and an anterior tilt. So excessive sort of extension through the spine there, squatting like that. We want a neutral spine. So there's a really great exercise called a 90-90 hip lift. Uh, I'm not going to go into that now because it's going to take too long. Yeah. But just a really quick tip into, um, in terms of being able to sort of pull that rib cage down so it's sitting flush with the pelvis so that you can then breathe and brace properly. I'll forcefully exhale so it'll look like this. I'll show you. Better to stand here. Yeah. So this is the extended position. Yeah. And I'll take the air in. 
So it's always pushing the air out and sucking the air in through pursed lips, like that. Right? Taking the air in. And then brace. Right? So it's the forceful exhale is the, uh, is the step that's sort of crucial to pulling the ribcage down, getting the ribcage to sit flush with the pelvis. Awesome. Cool. That's fantastic. Thank you.